Hi there everyone, it's Anthony from Gateball Refereeing Centre. Uh, today we're going to be discussing the second of the three major forms of stance that we use in Gateball and that's going to be the central stance or what we usually term the croquet stance in Australia. So it's incredibly simple and I'm sure you know most people use this one and it's simply standing with the feet apart in a central uh, manner with the ball between the feet, the stick between the feet, and we swing back and we swing through. It's incredibly simple in essence, but there are a lot of things that can go wrong and a lot of misconceptions really. So I'm just gonna get rid of these alignment sticks. So just to describe uh, how we're standing there, but so when we're standing in this position, it feels incredibly natural. Now, I obviously stand with the split stance, so my left foot is a little bit forward in comparison to my uh, right foot, but you can see that the, the, the feet are still linear in relation to the target. So we always just want to maintain whether we stand, uh, whether we stand with the feet equal, whether we stand with the split stance, gains a little bit of stability in my opinion, or, or we stand a little bit further apart even, that our feet are pointing in the direction where we want to go. The feet will assist the shoulders in being in relation to the target line. And if our shoulders are in relation to the target line as well as our feet and lower body, we're more likely to hit the ball towards there. So we can grab the stick in one of three main grips. The first one being the standard grip, which involves placing the left hand, if you're a right-handed player, on uh, outward facing, uh, sorry, the, the back of the hand is facing towards you. And likewise, that the back of the hand on the right hand is facing towards you too, but we can see that the finger is running down the back of the stick here on the right hand, and we've got one hand facing out and one hand facing in. This is the standard grip. The second involves turning the right hand to match the left hand, which would be called the Solomon grip, so it's two hands in that direction. And the last is the Irish grip, which is the inverse of the Solomon grip, both hands facing outways. Uh, whichever grip you choose to use is completely up to you. In gate ball they're pretty much all equal uh, because uh, strength is not as important in relation to uh, the court size and the weight of the balls and how far you actually have to hit the balls. In croquet the, uh, the Irish grip is a little bit harder to do because it's harder to create speed. But when we're doing this central shot there are two key things I want you to take away from this. Number one is that the swing on the backswing does not have to be perfectly linear and straight. It only has to be straight when we create contact with the ball at the point of impact. It only has to be straight there. And the second thing is tempo. And I'll talk about tempo in a separate video as well, but tempo is one of the most important things. Often there is a slow backswing followed by acceleration. And that's what we want to do. It needs to be, it can't all be the same speed because we're going from something that is in a state of potential energy and we are taking it back, gradually building energy and then the potential energy that we have stored in the stick head and in the stick itself and in our body is then uncoiled and released through and we hit the ball. Simple as that. So they're the two things we're gonna discuss today. So the first of those two things was the stick doesn't have to be straight on the backswing. I hear a lot of people saying that, and I'll, I'll just turn around when I'm doing this uh, to, uh, to uh, explain it to you, that the stick has to be linear, straight back, straight through. Although, that yes, that would be in a perfect world, uh, there is no way that you're perfectly straight. It, it's very rare. Usually there's a slight deviation. So there's a few different types of deviation. There's swinging to the left or right. which would be those ones. And then there's of course swinging dead straight. So you can see on those shots that the stick came slightly to my left, slightly to my right on the backswing. But each time that happens, my body naturally compensates and my hands bring the stick forward and straight. And the way that we can assist in this happening is by how close our feet are together. Now, if you're gonna be doing this, I really recommend trying to get the feet as close as you can together because it creates less of an area in which the stick face can deviate in relation to that on the, on the through swing. 
obviously when we're on the backswing it doesn't matter where the stick goes because as long as we miss our feet and that's important to miss our feet because we don't want to hurt ourselves but as long as we miss our feet there's only a certain amount of deviation that the stick can have in relation to the impact and impact is everything the second thing we want to discuss is tempo we really want to make sure that it is a gradual build up of speed it is straight back and then through you don't have to force it you don't have to you know just slap it through like that you're not going to be achieving anything and honestly you're going to be losing a lot of precision and accuracy as well as weight control across the lawn uh, or playing surface i should say uh, so we just want to make sure that we've got a general build up of speed and some people like to pause at the back that's you know up to you you can do whatever you like in that scenario but it should be a gradual build up of speed followed by acceleration we never want to be slowing down the swing it, the through swing because we'll be creating inconsistency it needs to be committed and it needs to be with purpose if you don't want the ball to go so far you don't have to make a swing all the way to the top all the way up to here every single time make a shorter back swing same thing coming up to here and impacting through we don't want to be short uh, we want to be shortening the backswing to control uh, speed we don't necessarily want to be having the same backswing where the stick goes back and then slowing it down artificially with the hands and with the body because that creates a lack of intent a lack of acceleration through the ball which can create a lot more deviation throughout the stroke so that's it for today i haven't got any drills for you because i'm sure that most people are familiar with this type of swing i just wanted to point out the two most common faults uh, the first one of course not being really a fault because it's just pointing out the fact that you don't have to be linear you can be left you can be right and if someone tells you else Otherwise, there are plenty of top uh, gate ball and croquet players who have completely crooked swings that just straighten it up at the end, which is perfectly fine. The second being tempo. Tempo is a fault. We really want to have a nice, smooth tempo, gradually building up speed and then accelerating through the ball. That's what we want in this swing. So, pleasure giving you another video and hope you've enjoyed.